All right, Shalom. I'd like to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachah Kodash, double honors unto my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone or GMS. I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And, um, I just wanted to do another part that I mentioned in my last lesson, okay, about being charitable, okay, and that it's required of us, okay, charity, okay, and um, what I said was, you know, just highlighting certain aspects of things that are required in this truth, and another one is, another thing that's a part of signing that contract and putting our hands to the plow is that we're going to suffer okay hence the word patience okay and uh matter of fact i'm gonna start off right here because all i did was put suffering and then my other device i got suffer so i'm gonna, I'm gonna just hit some scriptures all right and expound on them and lord willingness will be edifying okay because this is part of the talk part of the uh agreement all right, is that we suffer. All right. So I'm going to drop down. You know what? Let me go uh, right here. And it's the book of Romans, chapter 8 and 18. It says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay. I'm going to get one more. All right. Okay, and that Second Corinthians really could start it. Uh, matter of fact, mm, let me see. Let me click on it. Okay, I'm gonna start up at the top. This is uh, Second Corinthians one and one. It says, "Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, by the will of the Heavenly Father, and Timothy, our brother, unto the church of the Heavenly Father, which is at Corinth, with all the saints, all right, and the saints of Israelites, which are in all Achaia." All right. It says, Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shah, the Father of mercies. Okay. And the God of all comfort. Okay. Now, that scripture, I need to lock that one in. All right. Because uh, we often speak about the mercies of the Heavenly Father. And as it says, uh, in the book of uh, Sirach, if I'm not mistaken, is one of my favorite scriptures. I just can't remember it off the top of my head. But uh, it says the Lord's uh, mercy is as his majesty. Okay. So I got to lock that one in. It's just me making a mental note verbally. All right. So let me go to verse 3. It says, Blessed be God, even the uh, the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Who comfort us, comforted us in all our tribulation, you see? And we all going through something, man. All right. We all got our own level of, of tribulation that we're going to go through. And as the scriptures say, like these so-called Christians like to love to quote, Oh, the Lord don't give you more than you can handle. Okay. So whatever tribulations we may have to go through, okay, whatever they may be. Whatever sufferings we have to deal with, okay, it's not going to be more than what 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 uh we can handle, okay. Let me get uh let me keep going. Uh, verse four for Second Corinthians one and four says, "Who comforted comforted us in all our tribulation, okay, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble." By the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of the Heavenly Father. All right. It says, For as the sufferings of the Messiah abound in us, so our consolation also abounded by uh, Yahweh Shah, our Lord. Okay. It says, It says, uh, verse Salakia, a B flu in here. I guess he's attracted to that, uh, 
frankincense. It says, uh, verse 6, 2 Corinthians 1 and 6, and whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation, okay? This is just something that we have to go through, all right? It says, and our hope of you is steadfast knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, okay, so shall ye be also of the consolation. So they go hand in hand. We're not going to, it's not going to be a cakewalk into the kingdom. Okay. As a matter of fact, let me do this. Let me click. As a matter of fact, I can click right here. All right. Let me scroll over. All right. And this is Romans 12 and 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the heavenly father. Okay. It says, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. If you're being sacrificed, you're going through it, man. Okay? And we present our bodies as a living sacrifice, man. Okay? We gave up what people call a, a so-called life to an extent. You know what I'm saying? Because this truth comes first. This brotherhood comes first. Okay? Everything else is a, 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 a big second. Okay? It says that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, okay, holy, because we, well, let me keep reading. It says your body's a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable, okay. This is, the, this is, this is what is acceptable unto the heavenly father, which is your reasonable service, okay. That's our reasonable service. So we got to go through it. The scripture says, as a matter of fact, let me get that. All right. Let me go. Let me do this. Salakia. Okay. Let me go here. Let me see where it's at. Um, that's one. Let me see, it was another one I uh, wanted to get. Because I read it last night. Yeah, I can just go straight. Uh, Let me bring out St. John 13 and 16. I'll just, because it was another one. Was it Matthew 10? I can't remember. Uh, let me just bring this one out. Let me go to St. John 13 and 16. All right. As a matter of fact, I can do it right here. All right. St. John 13 and 16. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that the Salakia verily and this is red letter so this is the Lord Yahweh Shah speaking it says St. John 13 and 16 verily verily I say unto you the servant is not greater than his Lord neither is he that is sent greater than he that sent him you see it's an order it's the heavenly father son Yahweh Shah okay and we are the servants of Yahweh Shah and we're not greater than Yahweh Shah, and Yahweh Shah is not greater than the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Okay? So, look what the Lord had to go through. He suffered. Okay? He suffered a lot, man. Alright? Especially having power. That, that's even, man. Can you imagine having the power to overthrow the things that you're suffering, but you still stay the course because you came to do, do the will of your Father? Shit, man. Come on. That, that, that's, that's, that's deep, man. That's deep. Because it's one thing, like, we know we ain't got no power to overthrow nothing. We got to wait on the Lord, okay? But to know that you got the power to, 
but you still are bound and <laughs> something man that's that's man that's heavy okay so um let's go back you know what let me do this let me do this let me just put in suffer let's see what we get all right and i'm gonna drop down i'm gonna go to the uh, new testament all right All right. Yeah, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. Sure, right. That's a whole nother lesson. Let me see. Yep, yep. St. Matthew 16 and 21, it says, from that time forth. Begin Yahweh Shai to show his unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Now, again, we just read the servant is not above his master. Okay. And look what the Lord had to deal with. This is what I was talking about. This is what the Lord had to deal with, man. All the naysaying, all of the uh, uh, non-believers, okay, and then still be have to be sacrificed. I mean, that's that's tight, man. That's just real heavy, okay. Uh, let me see. I'm just going through them. Uh, bear with me one second. It was one more because I had looked this up earlier. And if not, you know what? Let me see. Matter of fact, let me pause it. That way it won't. So lock it. Give me one second. Let me see. Okay. I got it. This link right up what I just read. Okay. Because, uh, matter of fact, let me just read it. St. Luke 22 and 15. It says, and he said unto, let me click on it. All right. This is, uh, and this is the Passover. Okay. This is St. Luke 22 and 14. Okay. And this is for the Lord was put to death. And check it out. It says, uh, St. Luke 22 and 14. And when the hour was come, he sat down and the 12 apostles with him. And he said unto them, with desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. So this is the Lord knew what was about to go down, man. Okay. It says, for I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. And. Um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. St. Luke 24. Matter of fact. Let me click right here. Just talking about the sufferings. You know what? Let me go back. All right. 
Yeah, I'll just bring this point out. It's the St. Luke. Uh, Twenty-four and forty-six. It says, uh, "And said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Hamashiach Yahweh to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day." So it's going into the same thing, okay? So that's what happened, man. He had to suffer, okay? Just as we have to suffer because we are partakers in this thing, man, okay? Um. Yep, we have to suffer things for the Lord's name's sake, man, okay? And I'm just looking, I'm just looking, bear with me, Baba Kusha. Yeah, yeah, it just brought us back, that's okay. Was it Second Corinthians? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, that's pretty much it, man. Okay, but I wanted to just uh, and there's plenty of scriptures uh dealing with that, man. Okay, and this is like again, like the title of this video is gonna, video is gonna say, you know. This is part of it. Suffering, man. Okay? And as the scripture says, suffer for righteousness sake. Because check it out. No matter what, our people are going to suffer any damn ways, man. Okay? But as the scripture says, suffer for righteousness sake, man. Let me see. Can I get that? I think it's in the book of St. Peter. Yep. 1 Peter 3 and 14. But, and if ye suffer for righteousness sake, all right, because again, you're going to suffer. We're going to suffer. We are, okay, as Israelites, okay? But, and if ye suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of the terror, neither be troubled, okay? We have to have faith that the Most High got us, and he ain't going to give us more than what we can handle, man, Okay? Lord willing, this was edifying, and I'm going to close. And with that, I'm going to say shalom.